Hello, Gabby Bell. How are you doing? Hello, Or Pinely. How are you doing as well? I am doing okay. <laughs> This conversation was not started by AI. Yeah, just two people who are trying to figure out how to talk. So recently, I was watching TV, and when I was watching TV, I got this very ad right here. You love watching ads. I've noticed a trend. I love them. If I could pay to watch more ads, if uh, Netflix had that option, I'd go for that. Who am I? I'm the one who can be 100 different investors all at once. With eToro, I can be Grace, a global tech investor. Or Max, oh, yeah. a German local stock spec. So here was my experience. I watched this. I don't really watch ads with a lot of intent. It just kind of phased through, through me. Yeah. I didn't even realize this was an AI ad. Well, I feel like it's mixed because there's no way they'd get the Berlin market correct. So like that the, had to be yeah, fixed in the post. the backgrounds are non-AI. The people are definitely fake people. Oh, but the people, are, oh yeah, they are for sure. I could be young, a passive dividend hunter. Hey, I could be David. This David. Ah, this David. Wow, they censored they censored his penis for the ad. No. <laughs> they don't even censor his penis in Animal Crossing. If you if really? you're on Animal Crossing New Horizons and you get the statue of David, his wiener is just out. With eToro, you can be inspired by investors worldwide. Their knowledge, their strategies all out there for the taking. Be the investor you want to be. Yeah, I think I only caught this towards the end. No, I didn't catch this. The person I was with was like, towards the end of the ad was like, this is AI. This was kind of, uh, I think one of my first exposures to an AI ad. Uh, do you like this? Yes, very good. I would love to invest in eToro. They're not holding a gun to my head at all. With eToro. With eToro. So use I don't understand. Why do they why did they need AI people for this? So I think the idea is that you can listen to whatever they have a bunch of investors on the app. <laughs> now I'm doing an ad read for them. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me more and then also give your QR code at the end. But that's yeah, that's kind of the idea. Get inspired by investors worldwide. So it's like But they're not real. Exactly. So it feels so <laughs> stupid because it's like Am I getting inspired by like a real person or am I inspired no. by like like a fake person they made up. So yes, companies and brands uh, are starting to use AI images and videos to promote their campaigns. I mean, like, as I started paying notice to this, I see this mainly like when I'm walking around and like a local theater or something like that would use an AI generated picture for an ad. They think that it makes them look more professional. That's insane. But it just, it looks cheaper. So this is a pretty disgusting one. If we look at the like to dislike ratio, this seems to be a re-upload or something, but uh, okay. not great. Uh, Yikes. I'd just like to ask you before we watch this, when you think of Toys R Us, like going there as a kid, what are your memories? Yeah. What are you associated uh, with? Say feelings, just yeah. say feelings. Never getting anything. <laughs> Window shopping. <laughs> Window shopping. <laughs> going with your friend's mom. It's pretty fun. Like the, I really <laughs> love just going and riding on those little bicycles that they have over there, like inside the store. I didn't ever did those because they costed money. What you you could just pick it up and ride it in the store. Not you didn't have to buy. Oh, it. you could. The, I, the ones they I, sell. I got scolded for doing that. Oh, okay. I don't. I didn't do that. <laughs> We've did... unraveled some childhood trauma <laughs> by asking about Toys R Us. <laughs> to me, I guess you know it's like a it's like a, a commercialized thing for kids. But like as a kid, no, you're like I don't Whoa. associate it with happiness. <laughs> I did not have happy memories there. Envy, maybe a feeling. Of <laughs> of, envy. of envy, disgust, <laughs> disgust, disgrace, betrayal. So first of all, I guess looking at this street. I was gonna say, see... I can already see the cars on the left look like they're merging into each other. Yeah, the same car is kind of Same with the twice. cars in the background on the right. Yeah, also they copy pasted that car. Oh uh, yeah, there's a car that merges into a house. What Something's is that? Something's happening over here. Uh, not is it words, supposed to be words? But... It's close to it. It looks like they edited Bicycle Shop in post yeah. for it to say whoa. words. Whoa, whoa. Oh no, the AI's got you. Ah. It's over for Evil Pinely. They finally got him, guys. There we go. There we go, we're back. <laughs> I'll watch my, watch my words from now on. Yeah, they're gonna get to you too. The son of a bike shop oh owner, my Charles God. Lazarus, had a vision that would go on to change toy stores forever did he die what happened oh he's oh my god you asked me not to tell you which bit of this is ai 
It's uh, but all of it is. All of it, yeah. Holy shit, like who did this? As someone who does video, this is disgraceful. Like this is awful. It's not even well done. This is magical and beautiful. That is like, nightmare fuel. Oh. They clearly, so they clearly had a shot of him looking around, yeah. deposited it, and just, instead of making it look natural, it's literally like he's going in an exact straight line. Like how you, yeah, like, like a PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> slide in transition. Greatest toy store Oh, yeah. Can you sing that more? The greatest toy store. Was that AI too? It's possible. I, I hope not. But you don't know. I don't know why the guy sounds so sad. He does. <laughs> He's like mourning the toy store. <laughs> he could have casted a real kid. Nah, that's impossible. <laughs> like this would have taken like an hour to, for him to film. Just try to like... Look at all the stuff here. So this what is even a is? this is a mesh of stuff that I of like actual pictures I think of stuff that they probably sell and AI. I think so too. Like even as a kid, if I was looking at this shelf of stuff, I'd be like, what am I looking at? I'd be like, yuck. <laughs> Yucky, yucky. <laughs> maybe if I oh no! Look at what like, this is. Their mascot. Ew. <laughs> So I don't support the idea of making the background AI, but if they didn't want this to be this horrible, they could have done that and had a real kid at the very least. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It could have been a mixture. You know why this doesn't make any sense? Is because they didn't show any real products. Like, if you're this massive company, don't you want to show off your products? And this kid that every time he walks around, his neck snaps around from corner yeah. to corner. <laughs> Toys R Us was the dream of Charles Lazarus. Wow. May all of your dreams well, come true too. And this is our nightmare. <laughs> yeah, this is our nightmare. Dude, someone asked if it was AI or just CGI. How can you not tell the difference? If this was someone's CGI job, either way, they, they should have gotten fired. This is, yeah. this is abominable. This is rough. This is really rough. It's it's a real ad. Like, this was used. There's stuff that, That's like, crazy. we'll look at it later, but people have been making, like, fan ads of stuff. Oh, God. I wouldn't say they look good. They just look as good as this. So, this Forbes article says, AI struggles to generate Consistent character models. Young Charles, uh, this wonderful kid that we've seen here, shapes he doesn't deserve throughout a name. the video. Yeah. Well, it's the name of the founder of Toys R Us. Oh, is, oh, that's supposed to be him? That's supposed to be him. They said that at the beginning, but you were probably so traumatized by seeing I the was. rest of the ad. <laughs> I was. The de-aging in Indiana Jones looked better than this shit. Just use a real kid. What? Well, you can't de-age the dead man. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an example of how different Charles looks at different points of the ad. So yeah, this is a completely different child every time. <laughs> like, yeah, very clearly so. They don't look, yeah, their facial features don't look There's anything no alike. There's no consistency. I mean, this tweet kind of sums it up well. Just like a weird dream, it is a different person each time you see them. They also said in the article, I thought this was a good quote. It should be noted that this is the footage that was chosen for the final edit, meaning that these variants of Charles are presumably the best the AI could generate. Yeah. <laughs> the public hasn't seen uh, the rejected output. This is a bit of a different use for it. It's it's still uncanny. Okay. I guess it's, yeah, it's interesting. You'll see. Do you want me to tell you what's going on here or do you want me to just play it and I'll, and you, you'll try to figure out I, what they did? I want to experience it. Okay. Searching for your ideal hotel? Do you have tons of tabs open because every site has a different price oh. for the same room? So do you, can you tell what's going on? Uh, it's, it's a lot more subtle than what we've seen before. His shirt looks really strange. This has to be one of those AI people. Well, well, we'll read about it more in a bit. Focus on his lips, okay? Instead of scouring the internet and overspending, Trivago makes it easy to find a great deal for your ideal hotel. Remember, go straight to Trivago, compare prices for the same hotel, 
and save up. So what do you think? This, this is, is one of I think this is one of those AI people that I remember seeing advertised that you can like voice over and it'll just dub onto their face. I think uh yeah, very, very close to, to what happened. It's here. like an avatar. So yeah, what it says here is that what they did, this is an actor. So this is oh. a guy. He's just lit in a way that makes him seem, I guess, AI generated. The angle is really weird, like the shirt with the pants and and the way it's unbuttoned, it just looks really unsettling. <laughs> I think the one of the things that are really, you mentioned dubbing. So yeah. essentially this article says, Trivago ad campaign replaces 20 actors with just one supported by AI. So essentially, they usually translate their ads and bring different actors for different countries. Instead of having a bunch of actors, they used AI to, to they brought dude. like a different voice actor and kind of used AI to switch the lips. Fargo makes it easy to find a great deal for your ideal hotel. Like it works. It's not the worst a idea. A lot better than you think. But right. it's like, it's, it still like throws me off. Like it's a bit creepy. It does. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like in other languages now. Trivago claims the campaign is the first of its kind AI driven television advertising campaign. That's one thing. They just f***ing love to talk about AI all the time. Cause like, you know, I don't know if it's still relevant anymore, but like in the past few months, there's like a lot of like stocks have went up for companies that have innovated with AI. It's not the worst idea for efficiency and for consi brand consistency, but it's still like, I could tell something weird was up with him. One funny thing in the ad, when the US Travago guy commercials were all over US TV, many viewers focused on this guy's uh, look and how he didn't wear a belt. <laughs> <laughs> I just think the shirt and pants combo looks then, really weird. And then it says, in new ads, the actor wears an overshirt that doesn't quite fit. <laughs> yes, he looks AI generated. I'm sorry. Wait, was this one not AI? It did look AI. I'm not even sure. Definitely anymore. was. He you looks dubbed. So? This guy, I guess he is American, but I think what they did is that they maybe recorded him and told him to like not move his lips. So it's easier afterwards to add the lips for every language. That's my assumption. Yeah. <laughs> Something looks off even in the English one. Yeah. Here's a bunch of different ones. Okay. Vous recherchez votre hotel idéal. Opener du en masse vinduer, fordi alle sider har forskellige priser for det samme værelse. So yeah, uh, speakers of this language is... <laughs> Please let us know if this looks weird to you as it did uh, in English. For us, yeah. yeah. Go straight to Trivago, compare prices. For I think you're right. I think they maybe asked him to record it without <laughs> moving his lips, so he's just going. Go straight to Trivago, compare prices. For because he looks just expressionless. It's so close to something. It is on Candy Valley. Like, it's so close to yes. something that should work, but it doesn't. For the same hotel and save up to $30 a night. Man, didn't they know people would realize something's going on with these lips? It's just so obvious. Anyways, Pi.org is a sponsor of today's video. Pi is a free tool that allows you to block ads with uncanny lips from popping up in front of your screen and other ones as well, mainly other ones. But here's the thing, Pi also gives you the option to opt in and view a limited number of approved ads, which in return can get you some money. There we go, you are receiving rewards for seeing this ad. Incredible stuff. Now, if you, uh, j for just a second, join me and my normal lips to the wide world of the internet, I love this. If you turn on visual mode, you can get to see the ads disappear off your screen in real time. Bye-bye. You can also check out their shopping extension for some neat automatic coupons when you're buying stuff at checkout, which works at over 10,000 stores. Go to pi.org slash pinely or click the link in the description and then click add to Chrome to use Pi today. It's free and it helps the channel. So, okay, the next ad has been popping up a lot uh, in the London Underground, the, the Chew, and I've seen it there. And now you're gonna see it as well. So it's been it's been genuinely everywhere. And look at this. The queen's dead. Yeah, the long dead queen. It's good to be the queen. <laughs> Underground in the tube. Underground. <laughs> yeah, because she's dead. So yeah, she has four fingers. So it kind of flips from being like an old Is that person's a glove? skin into a glove, into a peanut-esque texture. What, is it a belt underneath the arms? Yeah. I think she has like a, maybe like a WWE sort of uh, yeah. belt on. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> the necklace looks like it's teeth. This and looks I'll so say, strange. I'll say this. She look doesn't look like her to any extent. No, not at all. <laughs> Which I guess that's probably how they managed to get away with this uh, being an ad. Yeah, without getting sued. The eyes are f***ing. 
fucked up. She's like some sort of demon, is how I see it. Probably. That, you know? They probably had to AI generate it enough times for yeah. it to bring back a result that didn't look too much like Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> ah, the there's a little that? tree or peacock <laughs> over there. Nice. I mean, wow. this is beautiful. What uh, is this advertising? <laughs> Like, yeah. what do they want me to buy? I'm yeah, so confused. She's known, uh, she's known for going on trips to France. Like, I don't want to go outside and look at these fucking awful pictures all the time, you know? Like, I don't know what's so bad about just hiring an artist to make one that looks normal. If you have enough money to put it, to have an ad campaign that's... You know, this much everywhere. On the everywhere, subway in London, yeah. You can probably just hire an old lady to sit next to a castle. What do you think of this one? That's harder to catch, I think. Well, yeah, I don't know. It looks horrible, real. but the other one yeah. looks so bad. So I'm, <laughs> my standards. Yeah, they all like, look bad. I'm just dropped to the floor. If you're advertising like a real thing, like something that is supposed to color your hair, you yeah. should have a real example of someone using it. <laughs> Why are they using AI for like the simplest images that you can get? really easily. Also, is this supposed, so this is supposed to get you, yeah, gradually darker and stronger hair. This guy has gray hair. I mean, it looks Yeah, it doesn't look good, good at guess. all. But it looks healthy. But sure, it, it looks healthy, it but it doesn't do look- It doesn't do the thing that it says here. <laughs> no, like it's actively really light brown as if it's fading into gray. So in the world of like slightly, I guess, less corporate or like less big companies doing it, um, I okay. saw Drew mention. So yeah, Drew mentioned getting this as an ad on Twitter. Maybe Twitter's doing better? Let's see what kind of ads they got. Oh, here we go, an ad for stand-up comedy. These jokes, these, hey, I think AI oh, jokes. Oh, like stand-up jokes that are terrible? <laughs> so here are some of the best ones, and you can just tell me how funny do you think they are. Okay. A horse walks into a bar. The bartender asks, why the long face? The horse replies, my wife left me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I kind of like that one. I think one. that one has a sense of humor that... I think nice. that's a purse. I don't know. A donkey walks into a bar. He orders a beer. Bartender asks, how do you pay? Donkey says, I'll just put it on my tab. <laughs> this is like anti-humor. Yeah. I don't know who this is for though. Is it for uh, kids? Lovers like... of comedy, I think. What did one shoe say to the other shoe during the women's fashion show? Stick okay. with me, and we'll walk all over her closet. <laughs> now I didn't what? get this one. Me neither. Who is this for? What is this doing? <laughs> they have a website. They do have a website. So this is what the website is. Do you want to laugh? Great, you've come to the right place. Good old comedy, classic jokes, and delicious stand-up comedy the whole family can enjoy. Blonde, Blonde jokes, jokes. Man walked into a bar jokes. They hospital definitely have those. jokes. <laughs> I love hospital jokes. Those are really funny. Dad jokes, knock knock jokes, workplace jokes, Catholic jokes, jungle jokes. What is jungle jokes? They got jungle jokes. The the ones that everybody loves. I'll make up a jungle joke right now. Are you ready? Okay. Horse walks into a bar that's in the jungle. Okay. The bartender that's also in the jungle asks, why the long face? The horse says, because my wife left me in the jungle. <laughs> that's really good. You might have a shot at at buttumtish.com. You don't hey, even work day. for them. Now I just got to figure out Catholic jokes, workplace jokes, knock knock jokes, dad jokes, <laughs> hospital jokes, and blonde jokes. I got a Catholic joke. You do? Uh, here, I'll make, yeah, I'll make one up right now. David the statue walks into a bar and the bartender asks, why the long face? Why the long face? And David says, my wiener got censored. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. I think badumtish.com is your one-stop shop for good old comedy, classic jokes, and delicious stand-up comedy the whole delicious. family can enjoy. Blonde jokes, man walk. Okay, I think it's I read this pitch already. It's just the exact blurb. <laughs> also, he's just ripping off uh, The Rock from Moana. Why some men are circumcised? Because their wives must have a minimum 20% off. <laughs> What oh, does cause, that mean? Because women, because women shop, <laughs> women be shopping. That's but the that joke, doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. The joke is that you get a discount, <laughs> or it should be that you get a discount for more, like you're going to Costco or something. Doctor, 
the check you gave me came back. Patient, so did my arthritis. <laughs> That's just sad. I like how he said who's talking. Patient, colon. Yeah, instead of being like, the doctor said this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three jokes delivered daily to your mailbox. I still don't get who this is for. People who want to have a little laugh. People who want to have a little break from the roughness of reality. People who want to hear jokes about the jungle. People who want to hear jokes about how women shop. Do you think this is a person writing this, or is this like AI and they just ran out of all the jokes that make sense? That's the thing, because I feel like if we asked ChatGPT right now to write a joke, it would come up with something better than these. And like, it would make sense. Yeah, it would at least be coherent, I think. Write a family-friendly joke. Okay, well this one's not very creative. But why did the Scarecrow win an award? Why? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> this is not an official ad. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> I just- I This just is crazy when, looking. When looking up stuff, I just saw this Snoop Dogg Coca-Cola AI commercial. Why? Someone just really wanted to make this, I think. It's like people don't ask themselves why when they're doing anything. Well, let's see. He coming at you from the LBC. I've been an originator since day one, just like my homeboy Coca-Cola. Ain't nothing quite like the original. I come from a place where we don't just ride waves, we make them. Same with Coca-Cola. Why? They ain't just in the soda game. Coca-Cola been around since- I cannot tell if this one's AI or not. You think they actually got Snoop Dogg for this? Nah. I don't think <laughs> Tylionair got Snoop Dogg. I don't know. It says coca it does say Whether you're chilling what at a is beach this party art style? Oh no, oh this is there, horrible. Oh my god, the, the, the oh my the god, wait, go back to that like shot. The woman on the right, if you go forward like a couple frames. She thing. looks like an evil clown. Yeah, holy shit. And like yours truly, it ain't never gonna stop. Just like Formula One racing, Coca-Cola knows about speed and speed. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, where did we, how did we get here? Yeah, we got swag, we got style, but most of all, we keep it real. So here- So the text here is also definitely 100% AI. Absolutely. <laughs> Staying refreshed and always keeping it 100, just like Coca-Cola. Remember, ain't no party like a Coca-Cola party, cause a Coca-Cola party no don't stop. He said that I saw much emotion. Because, because ain't no Co party like a Coca-Cola Coca party. Coca party. Because a Coca-Cola party. Because a Coca-Cola party never party stops. Don't stop. And this is Coca-Cola now. My favorite drink. So what do you think of this one? Very good. I'm glad they got the talented Snoop Dogg to to voice this one. Yeah, that guy just uh, that guy doesn't show up just in anything. No, he's definitely <laughs> not featured on every song ever. So this website is pretty crazy. Create winning ads with AI actors what are we winning so this is a website that allows you to cr to generate hundreds of winning videos just from text hours trying to clean up your phone storage how many times this message destroyed your mood i found a hack that makes it easy to clean up your camera roll so is this woman ai i think this has to be an one of the same thing as the trivago one where it's like a a person uh... and they it gets dubbed over i think toddler parents this is for you if your toddler isn't talking, you might be wondering what you should be doing to help them. Dude, I think you're right. I think it's definitely what you said. I think it is. Actually, I think... Here, I'll send you this video. Hold on. There's this guy who... He wanted to test out Quebble Cop's AI person theory. There's a service. It'll prompt you to take videos of yourself at, like, every angle and, like, examples of you talking and, like, moving your arms and stuff. It'll generate an AI person. Is this thing ever gonna hit the corner? I swear, if this never hits the corner, yeah, I might just burn down a 7-Eleven. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so it'll do that for you once you give it like your likeness. I think that's what's going on here. So this is what the service offers you. Let me show you how you can create an AI UGC with ARCADS. Start with writing your script. You can write it yourself, transcribe it from existing video, or browse our templates. The next step is to choose an actor you like. There are 40 plus options available. For example, you can choose me. Oh, I forgot to mention. I am also AI generated. I'm freaked out. I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. All this video has done is just make me so confused about the stuff <laughs> that I can see. So the actors themselves are real, but the you can insert whatever words you want. I mean, the, the goal here is to make it so 
an actor just gets paid for one job, but you're Instead using of, them for a right. thousand jobs, essentially. Like, that's the goal here. Yeah. That's horrible, man. Because deepfakes used to be way harder to do, where you'd have to, like, manually get, like, a billion screenshots of someone's face at every single angle. And even then, it was really hard to do, and it was also bad. But then there were apps starting, like, do you remember that deepfake app where you could put yourself, like, in a movie? Yeah, vaguely. Or... Because, it, yeah, it seems like the actual actors, like, the actual human beings here were paid to do this. It's just a way to undercut how much they're paying. In terms of value, they're giving the value of them being in, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of ads, like infinite yeah. ads forever, but they are just probably getting paid for a days of work or something. That's true. And now it'll be harder to tell what's AI and what's not. Well, this was well, a fun little depressing. video. <laughs> I feel like we learned things along the way. It looks really convincing. It does look really convincing. I think some of them looked more bad than the others, especially like for Definitely. this website. Well, thank you for coming over, Gabby. If you guys uh, want to buy the desk mat. <laughs> no, you can't buy it anymore. <laughs> if you want to buy the desk mat, uh, <laughs> Gabby's going to be in Times Square. Uh, yes. Selling it to people. I'm gonna give it to them and then ask for money after. You're gonna get. You're gonna be. <laughs> I'm people. gonna be one of those actors in Times Square that's wearing like an Elmo suit, forces you to take a picture with them, <laughs> and then is like, "Money, please." Just go to any person with an Elmo suit. One of them would be Gabby. Bye, evil Pinely or I mean regular or it's regular, regular. Pinely this time. Yes. Uh, bye, everyone. Hey guys, Pinely's grandma here. If you don't subscribe, I'm gonna flip him off again. Oh, here we go. I'm flipping him off again because he didn't subscribe. Subscribe right now. Okay.